Human beings have a unique superpower. It's imagination. Dr. Jonathan Carroll is back with another good word on the topic of imagination and pathways to healing. Good morning, my friend. Good morning, Angie. So good to see you. And this just cropped up in my head, I don't know why, the other day. And I thought this would be a great topic to discuss with you. How do you employ the use of imagination in helping your folks uh, find healing? Well, it's a great idea and it's a great topic. I'm grateful you, you brought it to my attention. Imagination, of course, colloquially means for all of us, I think, um, the ability to kind of come up with novel scenarios or fantastical stories. Um, and creatives are often thought to have a powerful imagination. In psychology, imagination means being able to uh, represent mentally um, things around us that are sensory in nature when they don't actually exist. So so for instance, asking you to imagine uh, the smell or taste of a lemon or asking you not to think of a pink elephant, for instance, you're able to do those things because of imagination. And of course, it plays a major role in mental health as well as mental illness. On the downside, people use imagination all the time to come up with uh, and to represent stories and ideas that aren't actually happening, which can lead to anxiety and delusions. On the positive side, it can definitely uh, contribute to our healing. All right, so this is just, just intrigues me in every single way because we do have this sort of superpower that can go either way. How do we as individuals, when we're in a stressful time or a, a negative situation or place, how can we uh, use our imagination to put ourselves in a better mindset? Yeah, so uh, you often hear perhaps of guided imagery yes. or meditation. So these types of things that we can access via uh, YouTube or a podcast, or perhaps if you're seeing a professional, they can uh, help you with guided imagery. What that does is it invites you in the moment, wherever you might be, to take yourself to another place. Uh, therapists are often inviting their clients to consider uh, what they would be um, referring to as their happy place or a place that's safe or a place that's comfortable or a place that they've been to that they remember being uniquely warm or cozy as a way to kind of distance themselves from a moment of intense anxiety or, or even depression. Uh, dreams are a form that our imagination takes. And uh, a lot of our dreams, of course, are the unconscious just trying to communicate something um, to our conscious brain. And uh, sometimes that makes sense and sometimes it doesn't. And it, it, it's helpful to have somebody who, who has studied and researched and has practiced uh, and been trained to do that to help us. It can open up an entirely new world to us. So imagination really gives us the ability to put ourselves in someone else's shoes, which develops empathy, allows us to see things from other people's perspective, allows us to take ourselves mentally and emotionally to a different place so that we're not imprisoned in this moment where there might be fear or trauma or anxiety. We can use it to take ourselves somewhere else to get a little space and distance and to begin thinking factually so that we can put ourselves in a better mental state to address what's actually in front of us. That's so exciting and very, and very uplifting. Jonathan, as always, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. We'll be back with more Lifestyles right after this.